I'm going to show you a little bit about these super fun textured coil makers and what we can do with them. So they come in two sets. There's the small set here, which has six little uh, textured plates and two little thingy-doos. And this one's got six large ones. And both sets are really handy. So, um, And I'm going to just show you how quickly we can use them to make some things. They're great fun. So out of the six little sets that we've got, the six little plates, there's two of each size. So there's kind of a small, a medium and a large, and they're just little lines on the plates. Um, little corrugated, you can see. Um, and they're just plastic. And then we've got these little holders at the end here. Um, and there's one to go with the large one, one to go with the small one. And these just actually just clip into these. You can see they just clip in like this so that we can then use these little plates. So I'm going to show you how to use them. Okay, so first of all, we need to just prepare these. I've got on my brush a little bit of olive oil. I've just lightly put some on the end and I'm just going to lightly run the oil over the um, little corrugated plates. And I've got here the large set and the largest um largest grooved one so then i'm going to just take my little uh, bit that goes on the side here and just press it on and this is just a little guide really that goes on and then i've taken out some metal clay i've got um some art clay silver here you can use any metal clay for this i'm just going to take my largest bit for this and what we do first of all is we want to roll out just a plain little snake and you could do this even or you could do it tapered and the nice thing with these plates is that they're plain on one side and the texture on the other so you can use the plain side just to roll out your little snake to whatever size you want to start with so I'll try not to try not to roll the vibrate the camera too much then once you've got it how you want it, oh, I've put my plate on the wrong way around. I wanted this way for what I was going to show you first. So I've got my little grooves going this way across. I just lay on my little bit of clay and I'm going to have my grooves on this one going the same way. And you've got this little guide here so you can put the plate up to it. And all you do is just roll a bit. And I'm just going to roll it out a little bit and you have got an instant little wormy snaky, caterpillar, whatever you want. Super fun. If you want to make that a little bit more smoothed on the edges, you could just gently, gently go back on and just roll it down a little bit with the flattened one again, just to give yourself a little bit slightly different roll. How fun is that? Okay, so that's one little worm. Now I'm going to transfer over to the small set. And I'm going to take uh, the I think I'm going to take the teeny tiniest one first. So let's a little bit of oil on the teeny tiny one. Just run your brush along the grooves a little bit. Click it onto a guide. Make sure you get your little grooves in the right direction. Okay, and I'm just going to take out one of my tiny bits of clay here. I'm just rolling it off a little bit snaky wise to start with, and then we're going with the little smooth bit and just roll it out and for this one I'm just going to taper it so I'm going to lay this onto here actually I'm going to taper it that way I think make sure again that you've got your rolls going this way grooves going the same way straight on and a little bit of a little bit of a groove if it's not perfect just go back in do a little bit more look at that how sweet is that teeny tiny and then what you can do with little teeny tiny ones like this is I just wet them slightly, just run a little bit of water along it slightly. And this is super fun. I'm going to take a water brush and I'm going to make an instant little ammonite. So let's just start it going. Okay, a little bit tighter. The clay's a bit stroppy to start with, you just have to make it go round. Round we go, tuck it in. Because I added water to start with, everything's sticking together. And you've got yourself just an instant little ammonite. You can do that in any size you want. 
So I've just rolled out here some more clay. This is the little one I showed you just now. And I've rolled out an assortment of plain little snakes here. And I'm just going to take one of these snakes. I just want to show you a few of the little different things you can do with it. So this time I've got a fine plate here going long ways and I'm going to take, uh, what's this, this is the large one going and I'm going to roll in the other direction with this. So I'm just going to put this on, give it a little roll, 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 roll. Wow, look at that. That's fun because that's got little lines going one way and then it's got other lines coming down it, kind of mixing it in. So that's a really fun little combo there. Um, what else should we do? I'm going to show you on this bigger one here. I'm just going to keep these off underneath the baby wipe so they stay nice and moist for the minute. Um, on this larger one, as well as setting your um, plate straight in the guide, it's also got a V cut out of it so that you can set in at a 45 degree angle. And then when you've done that, you can then go in and um, take one of these and go this way and get another combination. So I'm going to lay this roll on here and try. This is not the same size as that one. This is a slightly smaller one. Just roll across. Let's see what we've got. Oh, pretty. OK, I had not quite got that all the way across. So I'm just going to, there we go. So on that one we've kind of got, oh, I don't even know how you describe it, but it's fun. It's got like little cross lines all the way along it. I'm going to try and zoom in on some of these afterwards to give you a really good look of them. Um, okay, let's fish out another piece of clay. Uh, let's just try, see with a... I've already oiled all of these now, just so that I can just go for it. I'm going to try and hold this one at a 45 degree as well. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Let's see what comes out of that. So I'm still using the guide just to help me. Oh, pretty. We got, oh, I like that. Look at that instant unicorn horn or what? <laughs> that's fun. Okay. So you can see there are a lot of things you can do with this. You can make Oh, what can't you make? Wow, I don't know. There's just going to be so many variations on this that you can do. Um, let's have a little think. Let's go and have a little look at maybe the narrowest one on here. You can see I'm super disorganised doing this. But this is just a fun thing to play with. And there's got to be so many different things you can do with this. Let's try this one. You can mix it up. You can have, let's, let's try a large with a small, shall we? Going in the same direction. See, I don't think I've done that one yet. So let's, oh, I did it on the little one, but. Oh, yeah, look, you get all sorts of weirdy effects with large and small. Oh, boy, this is going to be so much fun to work with. OK, what have I got left here? I've got a couple more bits of clay. So let's try this one. Um... This one, I think I'll go the same size. I think that's this one. And then we'll just... Oh, look. And then let's just try flattening that off a little bit for a different effect. So lightly, lightly, lightly. Oh, -ho -ho. oh, -oh. look at that. That's a kidding. OK, let's bring some of these back. You can see there are loads of possibilities. You can going to be able to create so much fun with this. OK. Now I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little bit on those. I didn't use the last one, but you're getting the idea. This is fun. Let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit. See whether it will still focus. I don't know whether it will or not. There we go. How about that? I think this has got a lot of possibilities. So they're all the ones I've just made. These ones um, I made earlier, haha, <laughs> in best Blue Peter fashion. You can see more little ammonites. You can see I really liked the ammonite idea. And how when you use different size, see how this one's a much bigger um, width on it? And then I'm just going to pull these guys over here a little bit to try and keep them nice. I love that unicorn horn one. I have to make a unicorn now, aren't I? 
that's definitely got to go to the top of my list. These ones are already dry that I made earlier. And then this, let's just bring them in a bit more. This is my uh, ring a month for this month. And I used this super fun tool, tool for making this. So you can see I used like a large one. I'm just going to zoom this back out again, make sure it focuses really nicely. And I can bring this up. There we go. You can see I took one large um, piece of clay and I tapered that one right down till it overlapped. So I don't know if we can see under here how it kind of overlaps under here. And I have got a video of this in the clay form as well, which is kind of like fun to see. And you can see there's like a little ammonite here and then I used a stone setting burr to set a stone in it. And there's a little ammonite there just on its own. And then these little teeny, 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 tiny little um, arms on the, this is uh, Cephalopodocus fenelli, uh, little, you could look that up maybe, <laughs> or maybe not, <laughs> and you can see all the little arms, the little textures, that's kind of like, um, that was using one that went that way and one that went that way to kind of get a, a cross texture in it, so loads of fun i'm sure you're gonna have super fun i'm going out of focus now i'm gonna pop that down there um you're gonna have super fun playing with these i'm sure you are